My name is Tom Story from Royal Page, and I want to talk to you today about condos and what we're seeing happening in the condo market. The stats just came out for July of 2017, and detached homes are still looking at over 1.3 million, semi-attached are close to $900,000, a townhouse is in the mid 700,000s, and then your average condo price in the GTA was about $532,000. So here's what's been happening in our market. In the first four months of the year, prices absolutely skyrocketed. We've never seen appreciation like that over a four month period. Then on April 20th, the Ontario government announced their Fair Housing Act. Once they announced that act, we've seen four more months of cool decline. So we started like this, now we're going like this, and it's gonna be very interesting to see how the rest of the year goes, but I actually expect it to pick up again. But even though we've seen a decline in terms of amount of sales and price point for detached, semi-attached, and even townhouse properties, condos have remained very, very hot. And I want to talk to you today about why I think the condo market has remained the way that it is. And there's a few ways to look at it. Number one is affordability. The average buyer in today's market is a millennial, and they're roughly 32 to 33 years old. These type of people like the type of lifestyle that a condo gives to them, and it's the most affordable option. The average detached home, as I mentioned before, is over $1.3 million. And even semi-attached, when you're close to $900,000, it's hard for someone at that age to buy that. And I think that's really important because it's the entry level option, the $400,000 to $500,000 condo that everyone wants to buy. So when everyone wants to buy that type of product, what does that mean? It means it causes more demand. And unless the price gap changes in terms of the price gap between condos and semi-attached and detached homes, because right now for the difference between buying a condo and buying a semi-attached property is still $350,000 and buying a detached home, your difference is still $600,000. Unless that price gap gets closer, I think for the next several years, we're going to see condos go up and up over time because it's the entry level option for people and they like the type of lifestyle that it gives them. Not everyone wants to go outside and shovel the snow. People like having a concierge to get their Amazon packages and it's waiting for them when they get home. So I really think that's the main reason why condos have remained hot and why I think they're going to remain hot. If you look at different areas in Toronto when they were first built up, let's say like Fort York and Spadina where they built City Place, or a little bit further west where they built Liberty Village. When these condos were first put up, it was a lot of investors buying them with younger type millennials moving in. But because the price gap is so high, they've stayed in these areas. They've started raising families in these areas. So over time, we're gonna see that as well, where raising a family in a condo is just going to become the norm because they're all located in the downtown core close to where people want to live. I have a lot of clients tell me sometimes that, you know, Tom, I'd like to get into the market, but I want to buy my perfect house. I want to save up and buy my perfect house. But if you look at the history, the Toronto market on average has increased almost 7% for the last 30 years for detached homes. Every single year for the last 30 years, almost 7%. So are you saving at the same rate that the market's moving? Because if you're not, I want to give you an idea. Why don't you get into the market with a condo type property because it helps you get in and that's how you move up the property ladder. It's hard to save to get your perfect house, but if you get in, it helps you move up to the next one and the next one over time. So that's my two cents on the Toronto market right now, what's happening with condos. As always, if you have any other questions, you can reach me at storyteam.ca or you can give me a call or text directly. I look forward to talking with you again soon. Thanks.